In this video, we are looking at some crazy medical tech that you just didn't know existed. And also some really weird medical tech that you wish you didn't know existed. Make sure you stick around for number one because it is honestly one of the strangest devices I have ever seen in my life. I'm Kieran, subscribe if you're new, let's get into it. Number 10 is the camera that you eat. As doctors, we love sticking cameras everywhere. We'll stick cameras in the back passage, we'll stick cameras into the bladder, we'll stick cameras into the throat. Anywhere, little hole where we could put a camera, we will put a camera to look inside. Imagine in the future if we could take these pictures wirelessly. Actually, we can. And this is called a capsule endoscopy. It's a tiny camera the size of a pill that you eat and while it goes through your digestive tract, it takes pictures of your insides. What's next? Are we gonna give the capsules different flavors? Maybe one tastes like a McDonald's Big Mac, the other tastes like caviar. Take your pick. Number nine, we have vein finders. You know when you go to hospital to have a blood test and you've got someone with a needle poking in your arm, trying to find a vein? Imagine if we had a device that could shine through the skin to show us where those pesky beasts are. Well. We do. Now these are called vein finders. You shine it like a torch onto the skin. The hemoglobin, which is found inside the blood vessels, shines red and it creates a red pattern on the skin because it's absorbed the light. But even then, humans still make mistakes. If you can have a machine that can find the vein, why can't we just have a machine that can take the blood? Well, you're in luck because the V-Bot is a self-taking blood machine and yes, Robots are about to take our jobs. This is number eight. This robot is literally so, so clever. It uses an inflatable cuff as a tourniquet, an infrared light that lights up the veins and software to pick the best vein. It then uses an ultrasound to see if the vein has good enough blood flow, aligns itself and then takes the blood all within a minute. Now we're moving on to the weird underwear that electrocutes you. You know when you undress in front of a new partner and you take your trousers off, it can sometimes be a bit of a shock. But what if you had underwear that could deliver its own shock? Now these pants actually exist to prevent bed sores. This is what happens when someone lies in one place for a really, really, really long time, a bit like me on my days off. The skin can break down, it can cause infection, it can cause the tissue to die. So these electrocuting pants supposedly help improve the blood flow of the area and prevent these sores. The zapping on these produces shock every 10 minutes. Can you imagine when Apple licenses this and we get the new eye pants? And if you think this is strange, just wait until number one. Number six, robots performing surgery, the Da Vinci robot. What an incredible name. Imagine you're lying down for an operation and on top of you is not two surgeons with instruments, but instead a machine with six arms performing a surgery. This is the Da Vinci robot. The robot has arms that can grab things like scalpels and graspers and scissors and also has a 3D camera. The surgeon who's still operating the robot is working from a console on a completely different side of the room on something that looks a lot like an arcade game machine. So while he's playing Pac-Man in the corner, this person's having their prostate removed. It can do things like remove prostates, remove kidneys, repair hernias. Oh, and it only costs a cheeky $2 million. And by the way, if you enjoy this sort of thing, make sure you subscribe to the channel for some great vibes. Number five is a pacemaker device that contains Bluetooth functions. Now pacemakers control the rhythm of the heart and help with the electrical conduction of the heart in some people, but they can be a bit of a nuisance. Regular trips to the hospital, getting them checked out. Imagine if your pacemaker had Bluetooth, had analytics on your phone, and you could just send those analytics to your doctor. You can check out when you've got palpitations, when you have got chest pain, because it's just always recording. Everything has Bluetooth now, your speakers, your car, your washing machine, so why not the pacemaker as well? Number four is the NEMA food sensor, which is a pretty crazy small device that can detect some food allergens like gluten and also peanuts. 
So the way this works is you're in a restaurant, you get served a nondescript sauce and you want to know if it has gluten in it because the restaurant don't know. You take a sample of it, you drop it into this device and within a few minutes it will tell you with a smiley face or a sad face whether that contains gluten. Now this could be revolutionary for people with celiac disease, for people with nut allergies or just generally for vegans. Hashtag stay woke. Number three is of course three D printed organs. You see what I did there? People are 3D printing everything now. I literally watched a video on YouTube of a guy who 3D printed a whole house. But now we can actually 3D print organs. The only organs that have actually been printed and transplanted are bladders. This young boy called Luke, age 10, received a 3D printed bladder made from his own cells. Does this not scream Star Trek? Guys, we're almost at number one. I am so excited. Number two, examine an eye with the back of your phone. To look into someone's eye properly at the back of their eye, you need to use a special device called an ophthalmoscope. They're expensive, the batteries are almost always dead, and it's a very difficult thing to actually use. This company called DI have produced a product that you can actually clip onto your smartphone and then you can use to look at the back of someone's eye. By only using your smartphone, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. That was a terrible, terrible iPod, I'm very sorry. Okay, we reached the finale and if you're under 18, please turn away now because as I just said, number one is a sperm extractor. Yes, this is as weird as it sounds and it's literally the machine that gives you a you know what. It's a product that's only available in China. It adjusts to the height of the user. You can adjust the vibration. You can adjust the temperature and you can even put something on that might help the extraction process. It's not a recreational device though. Oh no, no, no. So get your dirty mind out of the gutter. It's for people that need to produce sperm but can't produce it the traditional way. However, if you wanted to, you could buy the machine for $2,800. When's your next birthday again? That's it guys, 10 crazy, crazy tech that actually exists. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which one was the most surprising or if you knew that these even existed and which one you would buy if you could pick any of them. As always, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this sort of thing. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.